everyone, welcome to Mathflix with Sir Paul. Before you watch this episode, make sure na napanood mo na yung episode 1 and episode 2. Just search for hashtag Mathflix with Sir Paul S1E1 for episode 1 and hashtag Mathflix with Sir Paul S1E2 for episode 2. Last time, pinag-usapan natin ang standard form ng circle. Sabi natin, ang standard form ay mas useful kesa sa general form dahil kaya nating directly kunin from the standard form ang center at ang radius. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin ang general form. To be more organized, I want to divide the discussion into three parts. First, ano ang itsura ng equation ng circle in general form? Second, ano yung mga kailangan nating malaman para magkaroon ng sense sa atin ng general form? Third, tuturuan ko kayo ng shortcut kapag binigyan tayo ng general form. Let's start! This is how the general form of an equation looks like. The general form of a circle is given by the equation x squared plus y squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to zero. Tatlo ang gusto kong tandaan nyo tungkol sa general form. Una, the general form is equated to zero. Ibig sabihin, ang right-hand side ng general form will always be zero. Second, meron dalawang importanting terms sa ating general form. Yun ay ang x squared term at ang y squared term. Bakit sila importante? Mahalaga na dapat ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay parehas. In this case, the numerical coefficients of x squared and y squared are both 1. Actually, merong pangalawang version ang general form natin, given by ax squared plus ay squared plus cx plus dy plus e is equal to 0. In this version, mas ine-emphasize na dapat ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay parehas. In this case, they are both a. Now, bakit pa kailangan na ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay parehas? It is because kapag magkaiba ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared, hindi na siya circle. Ang last na gusto kong tandaan nyo about the circle is, a should never be equal to zero. Bakit? Kapag ang a natin ay zero, then x squared and y squared terms will not exist because anything multiplied to zero is zero. Ulitin natin yung tatlong dapat yung tandaan. Una, the general form is equated to zero. Second, the numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared should be the same. Lastly, that numerical coefficient should not be equal to zero. Ngayon naman, siguro nagtatanong kayo kung saan nanggaling ang general form. The general form actually came from the standard form. Try natin i-expand ang ating standard form given by the equation x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Simulan natin sa first term. x minus h quantity squared is the same as x minus h times x minus h. Next, y minus k squared is the same as y minus k times y minus k equals r squared. Now, we are going to do the FOIL method. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Let's have our first term. x minus h times x minus h is equal to x squared minus hx minus hx plus h squared. Next, we have y minus k times y minus k, which is y squared minus ky minus ky plus k squared equals r squared. Now, maghanap tayo ng common terms. We have common terms for hx and ky. Let's combine like terms. This will become x squared minus 2hx plus h squared plus y squared minus 2ky plus k squared equals r squared. Sabi natin kanina, ang right-hand side of the general form should be equal to 0. Therefore, r squared should be on the left side. Kapag transfer natin ito, kopyahin lang natin yung nasa left side. Then we have minus r squared equals 0. Technically, yung equation na ito ay general form na. Para mas maganda sa tingnan, let's arrange it according to the general form's pattern. Let's start with x squared. So we have x squared. Next, we have y squared. So we have y squared. Next, let's have our x term. Our x term is negative 2hx. Sa taas, mapapansin nyo ang numerical coefficient ng x ay c. Sa baba naman, ang numerical coefficient ng x ay negative 2h. This means that c is equal to negative 2h. Sulat natin siya sa taas para meron tayong reference. Let's have our y term. 
Our Y term is negative 2KY. Mapapansin nyo ulit sa taas ang numerical coefficient ng Y ay D. Sa baba naman, ang numerical coefficient ng Y ay negative 2K. This means that D is equal to negative 2K. Sulat din natin siya sa taas para meron tayong reference. Finally, we have E. The remaining terms will be our E. H squared plus K squared minus R squared. Sulat din natin siya sa taas para meron tayong reference. Tandaan na ang general form sa baba ay parehas lang sa general form sa taas. To better make sense of the general form, let's take a look at a few examples. I have here a circle in general form given by the equation x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 is equal to 0. Ang gusto natin gawin dito, pigain natin ang general form para makuha natin ang center at ang radius ng ating circle. Ang problema natin dito, the general form cannot directly give us the center and the radius. Kaya naman, dapat baguhin natin ang general form to make it something useful. We know that the standard form is more useful than the general form. So what we want to do is we want to convert the general form to its standard form. Paano natin ay convert ang general form sa standard form? The process is actually known as completing the square. Now, paano ginagawa ang completing the square? Ganito yan. First, pagsamasamahin natin lahat ng terms na may x at lahat ng terms na may y. Yung constant, ilipat natin sa kabila. So we have x squared minus 4x as our first group plus y squared plus 6y as our second group and the constant negative 12 is transferred to the other side of the equation. Now, ang gusto natin gawin sa groups na ito, we want to make it a perfect square trinomial. To make it a trinomial, mag add lang tayo ng isang term per group. Tandaan lang natin na kung ano ang i-add natin sa left side, ay i-add rin natin sa right side. This is for us to maintain equality. Now, saan natin kukunin yung mga numbers na ilalagay sa blanks na ito? Umpisahan natin sa x group. Ang una natin gagawin, kunin natin ang numerical coefficient ng x, which in this case is negative 4. Now, ano ang gagawin natin sa negative 4? Dalawa ang gagawin natin dyan. Una, i-divide natin yung number sa 2. Then, the answer to that will be squared. Gawin natin yan. Una, i-divide natin sa 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Next, yung sagot is square natin. Negative 2 squared is 4. Ganun lang yung gagawin nating process. Let's have our y group. The numerical coefficient of y is 6. Let's get 6. Then, divide 6 by 2. The answer is 3. Square 3, the answer is 9. These are the values that we will add to our groups to make it a perfect square trinomial. Again, to maintain equality, kung ano ang i-add natin sa left side, ay i-add din natin sa right side. Therefore, we are also going to add 4 and 9 to the right side. The last step is to factor our groups and to simplify the right side. Una, factor muna natin ang x squared minus 4x plus 4. The factor of this trinomial is x minus 2 squared. To check if your answer is correct, pwede nyong i-foil yung x minus 2 times x minus 2 and the answer should be x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, let's have our y group. What is the factor of y squared plus 6y plus 9? The factor is y plus 3 squared. Again, kung gusto mong malaman kung tama yung factors mo, you can foil y plus 3 squared and the answer should be y squared plus 6y plus 9. Lastly, 12 plus 4 plus 9 is equal to 25. This equation is actually already in standard form. From here, we can already get our center and radius. The center is at 2, negative 3, and the radius is equal to 5. Paano natin nalaman ang center at radius given the standard form? You can find the answer from the episode 2 of this series. Para mas maintindihan pa natin, let's have another example. I have here a circle in general form given by the equation 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 2x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. Again, gusto nating malaman ang center at ang radius ng circle na ito. Mapapansin nyo na ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay 3. Kapag ganito ang case, meron pa tayong isang additional step bago tayo mag-proceed sa completing the square. Kasi gusto natin na ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay 1. Now, gawin natin yan. To make the numerical coefficient 1, 
Let's divide all terms of our equation by 3. Then, let's simplify each term. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. 3y squared divided by 3 is y squared. Negative 2x divided by 3 is negative 2 thirds x. 6y divided by 3 is 2y. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. And lastly, 0 divided by 3 is 0. This is actually the equation we want to work on. Now let's start completing the square. First, let's group our x and our y's. So we have x squared minus 2 thirds x as our first group plus y squared plus 2y as our second group equals the constant negative 3 will be transferred to the other side. Again, we want to make each group a perfect square trinomial. Lagi natin tatandaan na kung ano yung inad natin sa left side ay i-add din natin sa right side. Kunin natin ang numerical coefficient ng x. Again, the process is divide the number by 2 and then square the answer. Let's divide the number by 2. Negative 2 thirds divided by 2. Hmm, this is the same as negative 2 thirds times 1 half. Cancel 2, the answer will be negative 1 third. Now that we have divided by 2, let's square the answer. Negative 1 third squared is 1 over 9. Punta naman tayo sa ating y group. Let's get the numerical coefficient of y, which is 2. Divide this number by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Square the answer. 1 squared is equal to 1. These are the numbers that we will add to our groups to make it a perfect square trinomial. Remember na kung ano ang inad natin dito, iya-add din natin sa kabila. The last step is to factor each group and simplify the right side. x squared minus 2 thirds x plus 1 over 9 has a factor of x minus 1 third squared. Let's factor our y group. y squared plus 2y plus 1 has a factor of y plus 1 squared. Foil this to check your answer. And lastly, 3 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 is equal to 37 over 9. This equation is already in standard form. So from here, we can already get our center and the length of the radius. The center is at 1 over 3, negative 1, and the radius is equal to square root of 37 over 3. Ngayon naman, siguro iniisip nyo, meron bang mas mabilis na paraan para makuha ang center and the radius ng hindi nagko-completing the square? Actually, meron. Kanina sa ating first example, nalaman natin na given this general form, the center is at 2, negative 3, and the radius is equal to 5. Try nating isolve ang center at ang radius na ito given the shortcut formula. Bago ko sabihin sa inyo yung shortcut formula, isang paalala lang. Pwede nyo gamitin ang shortcut formula na to kapag ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay 1. Since in this example, the numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared ay 1, pwede na natin gamitin yung shortcut formula. Bago rin natin gamitin ang shortcut formula, alamin muna natin ang mga values ng c, ng d, at ng e. Let's start with c. Tandaan lang natin na ang c ay yung numerical coefficient ng x. In this example, our c is negative 4. Also, D is the numerical coefficient of y. So, in this example, D is equal to 6. E is the constant. So, in this example, E is equal to negative 12. The shortcut formula for the center is negative C over 2 for x and negative D over 2 for y. Let's substitute our values. This will become negative times C, which is negative 4, over 2. And for y, we have negative d, which is 6, over 2. Simplifying this further, we have 2, negative 3. By using this formula, tama na ang center is at 2, negative 3. Now, let's have the radius. Here's the formula for the radius. r is equal to 1 half times the square root of c squared plus d squared minus 4e. Substituting the values, we have, simplifying this further, we have, further, we have, r is equal to 1 half times the square root of 100. We know that the square root of 100 is 10. 10 times 1 half is 5. So, r is equal to 5. Itry naman natin gamitin ang shortcut formulas na ito sa ating second example. Kanina, nung sinolve natin ito, the center is at 1 third, negative 1. The radius is equal to square root of 37 over 3. Bago natin gamitin ang formula, dapat ang numerical coefficient ng x squared and y squared ay 1. Let's divide all terms of the equation by 3. This will become x squared plus y squared minus 2 thirds x plus 2y minus 3 equals 0. 
this is actually the equation we want to work on. In this example, our C is equal to negative 2 thirds. Our D is equal to positive 2, while our E is equal to negative 3. Let's start with the center. Substituting the values we have, simplifying this, we have 1 thirds negative 1. Now, let's have the formula for radius. We have... Finally, our R is equal to square root of 37 over 3. In our next episode, we'll try to answer a few more problems involving circles. If you learned something from this video, do not forget to share this to your friends and your classmates. Also, comment down below kung ano pa yung mga math topics na gusto nyo i-discuss natin sa ating mga series. I know that online class has been very challenging to some of our students and also our teachers, but I believe that as we work together, we can survive through this. Again, I am Sir Paul and this has been Math Mix with Sir Paul. Thank you for watching.